back to work in the engine room today. So first jobs, Simon's going to get rid of this web frame because the frame behind it is rotten, the actual web frame is rotten and I'm going to concentrate scraping that side of the hull ready for its first coat of primer. It's cold today as well. Why is the other one lit up? Like the biggest stress on this boat, you'd think it'd be like you're sinking or something like that, but it's actually these stupid things, they ever work or they don't. Some people can't air it in one air, people air it in the other air. Anyway, a bit of a rant. But on a positive note, I found this on Facebook. Look at it, it's proper cold and thingy, and I was just undoing some flat blades here, and I thought, I know, this is the perfect time. Things. Look. Sort of. Yeah. What's it called? Is it a bit and brace? But like, look at it, it's like off of the arc, isn't it? But it's beautiful. I mean, you, um, Do you feel like a proper boat builder now? No, I'd never feel like a proper boat builder. <laughs> I'm like a boat builder imposter with the... Um, look at that though, it's cool. Anyway, that's going to be really cool. Do you feel when we're putting the, the bronze screws on the outside and stuff like that? That's going to be ace, because you have a bit more control. Right, let's crack on with taking this web frame out. It's kind of a shame we've got all these wires and stuff in the way for the first time, but... Um, Let's see if she did a good job. Yes. Best bit of wood on the boat, though. Put it back. <laughs> right, I'm gonna sit on my bucket, scrape some paint. What I'm gonna try is not that one. Ah, okay. I'm going to try this multi tool with a paint scraping bit on because down here the paint is very, very thick. So, we'll see if that works. But the issue I've got is I'm working down there. Simon's constantly in and out to go and get different tools and things, and I'm just like in the way. Yeah. Aren't I? Hmm. Has so anybody got a job for Gemma? <laughs> Can just kick the bucket. <laughs> Don't kick the bucket <laughs> until the boat's finished. Right, you're done with it. Uh, well, these are like my tools that I need, so. <laughs> oh, it's just not going to be easy, this, we'll go, is we'll it? We'll get going in a minute. It's only three o'clock. <laughs>
So it seems to be all coming down a bit at the moment. It's all these stupid wires that are in the way. Should we just cut them all? Spare bit. Did you want that bit on your boat? An incision there. We'll see how much looser it is now. I'll just keep throwing these on the floor because I've got nowhere to put them. Blows. Do I need to sacrifice? Do I need to sacrifice my seat, seat <laughs> for your rubbish? Oh, no, there is more buckets. I just need to like transfer them into bags. I just didn't think I'd be generating that much rubbish. I know, yeah, it's amazing. Just like what a little frame and a you know, couple of bits of boat just the whole, to the floor. The whole beam shelf. Yeah. See this, this web frame is actually quite good but what we're going to do is replace quite a lot of it because of you see here the floor has been like rubbing against it at points. I actually cut this out bigger a while back so these are repaired down low so we may as well just change the whole thing haven't we? Should have technically fell off. There we go. So now we'll put a nice scarf around here for the for the frame which goes against the hole. So we'll put a new one in all the way down to here. Then the new web frame will go over the top of that, then. And I'll cut that. Chub jammer. Sorry. <laughs> it's so hard when oh, we're doing different jobs because, like, you want to talk to the camera and say something, but I want to make some noise and. Go on, make some noise. Show off a bit. <laughs> I'm working too. <laughs> it is quite good, actually, this um, paint scraper bit on the multi tool. Now, we're not going to get every last bit of paint off. But we're only concerned about the flaky bits of paint, really, because it's well stuck. So I'll just clean it up the best I can. I think she should get it all off. Get it off. Get it off. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not coming off. Look, it just. It's just, it's solid. No, you're just doing a good job there. It's good. It's just, it's slow, <laughs> it's very slow and it's just very boring work for the camera isn't it, so. This whole doing frame stuff is so bored, <laughs> if you guys are bored, we're bored, there's only, there's only a few ways different you can do it but it's got to be done. Not far to go actually, no. we, haven't, we genuinely haven't got far to go have we, well, on the frames. We can count on one hand now how many bits of wood need doing like frame wise in here before we move on to the decks. So when we started how did you count, did you use we your toes? Yeah we, 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 we used all the viewers toes <laughs> as well didn't we, <laughs> so we are getting obviously this half, front half of the boat, we're not even counting the back half yet so. <laughs> back half's not as bad, promise you. 
<laughs> See, that the whole transom. Okay, the very, very back part is really bad, but that's, they're, they're, that's kind of a, a different, a different sort of job back there. So, right, let's focus on the engine room. I got bored and thought the um, the grinder with the flappy wheel might be a bit quicker. It's just a lot dustier now. I definitely prefer painting to prep work. Quite a good frame as well. <laughs> So I'm now using my little finger sander to get rid of all the bits that you know can't reach with the big grinder and stuff. Um, ran out of belts, but luckily we've had an Amazon delivery, and I have more belts for my favourite tool. So these are from Richard Fairn. So thank you so so much, Richard. Um, it was a good job you sent them because that was my last one. <laughs> so I can carry on working. behind her. Nope. So we don't actually know what they were for. We spoke to Alan Watson who's, who knows these boats inside out and he, he doesn't even know what they're for. But they must have been put there early on in the in the in the boat. Yeah they've got to have gone on before the hull planks haven't they? Yeah. And I mean, they even cut to like the shape of the hull. Yeah. I mean, the main reason for removing that one is because where my scarf is here, I need to be able to dress it and get it flat, and that was kind of in the way. But on the other hand, there's paint, there's paint behind it. So I'm back to saying that they went in, they went in after them, because they must have, done, mustn't they? They must have like been sort of slipped in from the top. Obviously, this sister wouldn't have been here then. That would have gone in. Yeah, they went in after, so the, and there's no fixings right through the hole. These are all nailed here, so. Oh, yeah. So I, I wonder what they were for. Or well, what. I think, I think they were put in but never used. Whatever they were, anyway. So they're not 1940s. I don't know. I don't know. Can you find a, a date on the wood? <laughs> yeah. Right. How do you date wood? by the rings but <laughs> so it could be a hundred years old but it could only have been cut down last year so and they call it like chrono dendro or something like that where they sort of can measure that's a big word for you that. yeah <laughs> that's not the right word i was going from oak island do you watch oak island it's great oak island apart from for some reason in the uk we can't get the the this the latest series 
It's one of my birds that sends you the link. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get this this dressed off, and then we can do the frame. Dendrochronology. I think that might be the word. So this web frame doesn't need replacing, which is great, but it means the knee is not coming off. So I can't paint it. So it needs to be done in place. So I need to try and clean it off now the best that I can to be able to paint it in place. Bit of pain because we've got those wires in the way. Right, let's have a chat about paint. So, you know, last time I painted this, yeah, it was this bit. Yeah, <laughs> I painted this bit of the hull. And literally we haven't been here, apart from the bit of dust we've made today, which this has been two weeks since it was last painted. So the paint was dry before we started doing anything. It looks absolutely minging. You just, you can't wipe it it just the dirt is just phenomenal but you look at the area that we painted there it's still like brand new and it gets a bit of dirt on and it just washes like it just wipes off like even with your finger like dead easy the way this one just like rubs it in so the difference is this white paint is the paint we've always used it's the same paint as the gray paint we use it's hempel multi-coat so multi-coat can be used as a primer and as a top coat as well now it wasn't thinned this one it was just straight out the tin straight on and the white doesn't seem to be as good as the gray and the area that we painted last year in the engine room that just looks filthy already like I can't keep painting I know it's, it is only a primer it is only the first coat sort of thing but would I want to use it as my top coat because of how unwipeable it is and how dirty it is but what we didn't tell yet is this area that we painted was painted in garage floor paint and we did thin it down to go through the air sprayer and the finish of it is so much better you can wipe it clean it's got sort of a night like a semi-gloss sheen on it so any dust literally you can just blow it off and wipe it down the way is this sort of satiny paint just sucks in all the dirt so obviously this white paint is just a primer but it's just it's a bit disheartening when you paint something and then you come back in and it just looks absolutely filthy. So I just thought I'd let you know the difference between the two paints. It might look great to you guys on camera because white paint just reflects and it looks everything on camera that's why it looks awesome. It's not. <laughs> so then there's the cost involved as well. I got this white garage floor paint from Amazon and it was £50 for five litres. So 
this is the multi coat that we use that's only a 750 mil thing but you can get it in two and a half liters so for five liters of hemp on multi coat would cost us 82 pounds so there's a 32 pound saving per every five liters by using garage floor paint so obviously we'll keep doing tests and we'll see how it holds up in the area that we've used it but i'm quite impressed with it to be honest so i've just come down to the rear cabin to do a shot just as an overlay to show you what we were talking about before and i come down it was pitch black and this is what i saw daylight daylight dun 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 is so, that below the water line because no, we've so, got a bit more water that this is no, usually it's not, bone it's not, dry no it's not this 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 sheet's really remains in a lot that is way below the water line that's yay that's way above the water line it's about yay far that's just below the swim deck but what's interesting you've probably already watched this but we're right in the middle of like having a rat on the boat so is this his entry point? Mm -hmm. So what might be worth doing is like going outside and have a look, having a look just to see where that is. I've never seen a it's, hole that big in the transom before. No, it's never, it's never been there. And we haven't been in this room for quite some time, have we? No. But it's a definite rat-shaped hole, isn't it? I know, I know the transom's very, very poorly. Yeah, well, we always knew we had like bits of daylight you can see sort of up there and there, which little tiny, tiny holes, nothing major. I've never seen like a fist size hole before. Well, it's all here, it's all in shreds down ah. there. This is Mr. Rat. This is how he's getting in and out. So, should we have a look to see if he's got like a step up to get to that point? <laughs> Let's get our sense. wellies on and go outside. I like. Well, look at all this here. Is this like? Is that just? That's just the No, no, it's all fresh. Look, it's all fresh. Now right, let's have a look outside. Hello. Oh so is 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 escaped there? Oh, come in there. Hmm. I'd say this, you've already seen that this episode, but I think this is going to be a couple of weeks ahead, a week, or a couple of weeks pr prior. Yeah, you already know about but our rat sort, problem. We're sort of in the middle of it at the moment, so... Hmm, but yeah, definitely never seen a hole that big in here before. I just don't get it. It's right on the level of the swim, swim platform. Well, so that's where we escaped from then. And he's not come back because we haven't seen him. Hold on, so it's right on the level of my garden. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I think that's how he's got out. Well, you can't get up from there. No. So he could, he could only fall out of there, but he might, he might have. You might have escaped from the. I just mean? don't understand how that hole's appeared. I think it's been gnawed out from the inside. Right, so while we're out here, let's have a walk round to where we definitely know he probably is getting in on the cabin further up. Oh, <laughs> stuck. Haven't been down here for ages. Yeah, because since, since we closed the... So this is the section. So there is a hell there. Mm. But then you've also got this mooring line. So we could have come up the mooring line and along the sheet and into there. Boat work's never easy, as well as the boat work. <laughs> got to struggle in the mud. You've got to struggle with rats. And you've got to struggle with just random holes. 
just appearing in your boat. Right, maybe we need to go and plug that in. Plug it up. <laughs> I can't walk. Oh, yeah. Found it difficult outside. Yeah. <laughs> Don't like it outside. Hey, at least it's not raining. Yeah, well imagine if it's raining, you gotta walk everywhere, you gotta nail it. <laughs> Alright, I do appreciate it yeah. when you do go outside for copper nails. So you've got the other possibility as well is oh welly wash could be sort of because it literally I haven't cleaned it for a while. Um and it's caked in mud, so is it holding water? Which is then obviously because the transom isn't the uh, best, is it literally just literally rotting it away because of all the stands and sort of water here? Because look, literally. Yeah, if I push there now, yeah. my finger would probably go through. Go on. <laughs> I'm getting it in my nails. Yeah, I think we need to take this off. Just a little to me. Dear. It's a bit messy down there. Who did that? I'm just glad there's no ballast though. <laughs> It's had its first pass. Definitely one of the cleanest bilges on the boat. In the world? <laughs> no, <they're> like... <laughs> Engine room bilge. No, but we didn't even know it was red, did we? I've seen it red in places, but that's quite impressive. It didn't look red when all the day it was down. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> right, it's had its first clean just so we can work down there, but it needs more cleaning before we do paint your boat time. What colour are you going to paint it? I quite like the red. Red, red garage floor, I think. <laughs> right, are we ready to laminate the web frame? Well, it's all nice and clean. Ish. Ish. So when you know what clean does, it opens up. Nightmares, doesn't it? You can, you can see problems, can't you, then, when, when it's clean. And I'm looking here now, and I can see a problem. Do you want to see? Hmm. So... Can you guys see the problem? Ah, uh, this stringer. Watch out the way, I'm trying to sort <laughs> I want to see, I don't know what's going on. Right, let's let Gemma have a look. Right, which one's your foot? Oh. Right, so you can see this stringer here. Yeah. That's low there. And it's not in line. All the strings in the boat are per perfectly in line. So, because this here has actually pushed out because this was full of ballast if you remember in this area ages ago i can't remember about a year ago maybe so let's push that forward you can see this line here it had pushed it forward if you remember i said i had to cut out a bit of this floor and it's because it was all pushed forward so what we need to do is take this are they called floors See, I'm getting a bit confused because it's actually on the floor. And boat terminology is usually like, it's, I don't know, the floor's on the roof or something like that. But <laughs> anyway, let's take this floor out. We're going to call it a floor. Big rusty thing there. And then we'll have to fix it. But what we need to do is a bit of grinding. It's a bit late in the day. We need things to grind in now. Yeah. Because we don't ever want to grind and then go away for like a hot bit to be left. It's like with welding. You wouldn't weld like last thing before you go home. No. So what we can do actually is we can laminate this this web frame. Then that can come away, be prepped. Then we can take all this out of here and then we can then rejoin it and put it all back in nice and straight. But we can put our sister On the across string. the stringer. Yeah. So we can basically, because obviously that isn't connected to there. You can't. You can see a slight crack there, but if we link it all, all the way across there, put it back together, a new web frame, better than it was 80 years ago. 
Even though it's all beautifully painted. <laughs> yeah, but you can see it's cracked and... It's not happy. No. And considering... Oh, it's actually been scarfed here as well. That's an original. You can see the see the nuts. Yeah. So, so yeah, that, that's an original scarf joint there, which has survived. But it's very close proximity to the stabiliser. That puts a lot of load on the hole, doesn't it? A lot it? of stress, so you want it to and be... And these bad boys here... We'll put just a tiny bit of load on the hole, but you know. So if we laminate that, then mm -hmm. then the next job. Then the next job is take all this out of here. So yeah, things escalate. Never mind. Well, it's strong though, don't we? And to fight some wars. World War Three. Oh God, is that coming? Is that this year? It better not be, the boat's oh, not shit. ready. <laughs> Sold off Putin. Right, all we need to do is fix the hole in the tranny. We need to, we need to get the rudders working. <laughs> and put a big gun back on the front. Yeah, if anyone's got a big gun that we could like, I don't know, fend off, the, it's not the Germans anymore, is it? No. The Germans are all right. <laughs> okay. It's not one problem, it's another. Life. So can we do a thumbnail for this video like, oh my god! <gasps> Hang on. Hold do on, it's gonna get rid of my heart. Go on. What are we gonna do? <laughs> can, we do fake, can you do fake tears on your... Um... <laughs> no! no. <laughs> so if you've clicked on this video because of one of these things, I do apologise. <laughs> Glug, 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 glug. I hate thumbnails. I really hate them. You don't realise there's work that goes in trying to like actually make a video that someone will click on. So thank you so much for clicking on the video. We appreciate you. Yeah. If you have any any thumbnail ideas, don't ask me. Don't ask Gemma. <laughs> but uh, you know, I see a lot of channels lately. You know, they have, they have like really really good views, but there's always a bikini shot in the thumbnail. So, so if you knew anyone who looks good in a bikini, yeah, come down and do a day's work. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on then. What, are we getting this out first, or are we just doing the laminate the web frame and tackling this think, next I episode? think we'll laminate the web frame, and then we'll sort that out later today. I'm only saying that because of the sparks, and there's going to be a couple of hours to get out nicely. Yeah, we've got um, to go and feed the kids. Got to feed the kids. Right, let's get it laminated then, and then we can go home. You ready for your web? Come on then, I am ready. Spider Woman. Get it, your web. Or oh, Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did slightly do a quick rehearsal of this. Oh, you've been practicing. Yeah, that there you go. On that side of there. There we go, we're good. Oh, well. It's got a long way to go, this one. Oh, my hand's stuck behind the clamp. I can't do both, so... Okay, I, well... Uh, okay, look at, look at, look at. Right. Just sort of keep that one on there, now. This top one's going to fall. <laughs> Okay, let's get rid of the tower. So we're doing height wise, we're just enough now, aren't we? Let's get a clamp at the top so it doesn't move any further down. Does that make sense? Yep. It looks good. It's touching all of the fingers, so it's in 
Maybe a clamp on the that one there. Okay. It's a little gap. And guess what I've done? I've actually cleaned all the clamps off. So look. Ooh. And then he puts it straight in the epoxy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, no man. Hold on. That's what the four. <laughs> there you go. I think, yeah. You can't not get epoxy all over the place, the can you? Yeah. They're clamping gluey things up. Right, so before we go too mad. Move it away then. Yeah. Get the glue off that one there. Well, so before we go too mad, we'll check that these are all in line, which that's quite good there. It's with intolerance. I don't, no, that's a bit. I don't know what the manual says for tolerance, but. So, what we'll do for, for doing that, we'll just nick this one for a minute. We'll swap it for these ones. We'll get this one because it's got a big footprint to it. And then we'll just sort of. That's quite good. That's not too bad. What's this? See me little thing. <laughs> Your magnetic mic. Stupid microphones. <laughs> I don't like microphones. I think I said that at the beginning, didn't I? Yeah. Probably haven't even got the audio. I think <laughs> I mean, that's why I hate them. Because <laughs> we haven't been having issues lately, <sighs> haven't we? Well, I heard Gemma editing the videos going. I don't know if, does, does she swear? Maybe she does. Um, she did the video, it's like, there's no audio! Why is there no audio? And we're just... <sighs> Life, isn't Normal it? people who don't understand these things. Cool. So how you got free hands? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be different. great if we had free hands? Hmm. You got three legs, haven't you? Yeah. Cool, that looks good. So oh, just uh, so one more just clamp at the bottom. Just, the just bottom. to keep them yeah. in line. Let me sort of get there, Ooh. I can't really. It's just a big balancing act at the minute. We've got epoxy on our hands, we've got a camera in our hands. We've Why got no floor to stand on. Soul. That's Soul. a floor. Oh, okay. Go on, Jam. So I have got a floor to stand on. <laughs> yeah, you can stand on. <laughs> I've got two. It's not too bad, you know. That's so, one impressively bendy piece of wood you've got there, Joey. So we always have, me and Simon always have, um, not say arguments, but heated debates <laughs> about cleaning up the epoxy on the web frames. Now I find if I smooth it all off now, it's easier to clean them up when it's dried. It's not as if, as aggressive with the belt sander, but. And what's my theory? Your theory is if you leave it all just drooping down, then it's got some spur to suck back in, so you don't get no dry spots. But. So what are you doing, like an in between? Well, if you look over here. Or are you here, just doing it your way? <laughs> obviously, but if you look at it, there's still loads of epoxy there. Oh, okay. No, I agree. You know what I mean? If it wanted to suck any back in. It, but it's just not big lumpy bits. That's going to be I think I think once I noticed that it had pulled back in or that it dried out. And it wouldn't have dried out if there's a big lump there. So, yeah, it should be good. It's fine. But I think nowadays we use a lot more epoxy than we used to do back in the day, didn't we? We used to spread it out and it does fit. And now we just go, have all that. Well, you don't, the thing is the time it takes, and mm. I think we have once where we, where we've, we've, we've cocked up once. We've yeah. cocked up yeah. and it, it all just peels apart. It's like there wasn't enough epoxy on it. Yeah. So yeah. we'd rather put too much on than not enough because now we've got to leave that to dry for yeah. a couple of days before we can even take it off and do anything with it. And if you don't put enough on now, you've yes. just lost a few days worth of work, yeah. haven't you? And as well, it could cause structural issues in the future. Do you, um, but yeah, I think I think I think we've I think we've nailed this epoxy in like. So yeah, if anyone wants any free epoxy. Yeah, shoot. <coughs> <coughs> cool. 
So I think that is a good place to call it. Ooh. While the epoxy is going yeah, off. And the dust settles. <laughs> and the dust settles. Mm. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, have fun. Like I'm and sure. subscribe, and thank you so much to all of our patrons, coffee supporters, mm. everyone who leaves a super thanks, uh, a one-off donation, and anyone who sends us anything off our Amazon wish list. The, uh, just that the little bit of help that you all give is massive to us. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you might think, oh, we're sending them a pound or three quid. Mm. It, it, it's not, and it is. Yeah. It's a lot, and we really, really, yeah. you, you know, you don't have to do that, but we really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Keeps us going and keeps us being able to build this boat. Yes. Yeah, to keep to keep it going. That's our main goal. To keep a piece of history alive. You know, there's so many boats. I'm on a. I'm on a Facebook group where there's all these old boats for sale and it's like they're all in very poor states mm. and it's like, yeah, we are safe and surrender. Thanks yeah. for watching. <laughs> See you all next week. <laughs> ah, don't keep, forget to... Keep your bikini out. No. <laughs> 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 I've got like five tops on, I look huge. <laughs> <Is> that cold? <laughs>